ministers ready and waiting to lift those requests on your behalf. If you need any additional information, there will be additional contact details shared during the program.
can almost see mercy's face pressed against the veil. Looking down with longing eyes, mercy must have realized that once his blood was sacrificed, freedom would prevail. And as the sky grew dark and the earth began to shake, with justice no longer in the way. broken heart where to human from the start and all he is left it torn apart hopeless and afraid was I never meant to be left this prisoner unfulfilled Freedom call, but even still, it seems so far away. I was bound by the chains from the wages of my sin. Just when I felt like giving in, mercy came running like a prisoner set free.
Took all my sin and bore it. 
Today, we, the community services members, as well as the members of the church, mental in the community and distributed cupcakes. We decided to distribute cupcakes today because, you know, February is usually celebrated as a month of love. And we wanted to show love to persons in our community. So we distributed some cupcakes, as well as some small cards with contact information and a message of love on the other side, just to show them how we care, you know? The experience overall was good. People were receptive. People who would not have received us before, they were actually very much inclined to open up their doors and, and let us in. So I must say, it was a good, it was a good evening. Sister, you go make it. Yo! Hola! Yeah, you! It's we! G Y V. Golden Youth Voices. Voices on the Mount. Nothing at your door. You figured it out? Of course, it's Mondo. We on the corridor. Just keep in school. One, two, three. Four. You know how we just drop it. You couldn't ask for more. You don't know what's in store. Now I know you have been stressing. COVID, have we guessing? And messing with we blessing? It's only test after testing. I didn't know that being positive. Cut tell and not being negative. And that is how we go live? Not many choices. With so many voices. Say things looking grim. Our chances are slim. And the money done trip. With no credits on my sim. But guys, remember we still have him. Didn't he say we can make it? With him on our side. I'm sure we're gonna make it. I know you have cried. But you're still gonna make it. No need to fake it. Be bold and state it. Every day you wake up is another day you've made it. So time to be fearless. 
Not a fair warrior. And don't be careless. Be a prayer warrior. You see, fair causes flight. But faith makes you fight. So if you stand up and take it, my brother, you're gonna make it. So when the pressure is on, keep pressing on. Infected, affected, just stay connected. Once you can take it. And sister, you're gonna make it. It may take us much longer. But we'll come back out stronger. Maybe even younger. Despite all the pain, we'll rise again. No need to fake it. Just be bold and stay it. For every day we wake up is a sign we've made it. Come on, everybody, say it with me. We gon' make it. We gon' make it. We gon' make it. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. We gon' 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 make it. We gonna make it. Lo venceremos. We gon' make it. We gon' make it. We gonna make it. We gon' make it. We gon' make it. We gon' make it. Lo venceremos. We'll make it. In Jesus' name, you. But wait, he already said it. It's a part of the nature, part of the nature.
of a mighty rushing wind. Oh, when it's close enough that it's ever been. Oh my, I can almost hear the trumpet as Gabriel sounds the call. At the midnight cry, we'll be going home, yes, when Jesus steps out on a cloud to call his children. Yes, the dead in Christ shall cry. At the midnight cry When Jesus comes again Oh, yes I look around to me I see prophecies being fulfilled it won't be long now, signs of these old times, they're appearing everywhere, I can almost hear the Father say, son, go get my children. At the midnight cry, the bride of Christ shall rise. Church, get ready when Jesus steps out on a clown to call his children. Will you be one? The dead in Christ shall rise. Changed and will you be one at the midnight cry when Jesus comes again? And then those that remain, remain, will be quickly changed. great 
great success to show no glory of my own yet in my weakness he is there to let me Jillian, my heart sure is warmed up. And that's just a bit of what's in store. We say a big thank you to Sister Denisha McCurchin, the Happy Singers, and Brother Damien Headley for those beautifully rendered items of music. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notifications to keep up to date. You will want to know when we will be airing our next program so that you can tune in. So what comes next, Jillian? All right. So up next, we will be hearing from three other music ministers, Gary Goodrich, Hanifa Simon, and Dominique and the band. Then our next set of features will be coming from St. Vincent and our East Caribbean conference. Let us join in the varying forms of praise.
the word you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You have been so, so kind to me. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the ninety-nine. And I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it. Coming up to me. There's no shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Coming up to me. There's no shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up.
To be a Christian, to speak with tongues of angels feels good to have all knowledge, all faith understanding. No failures. I give my guns to the poor, and I'm ready to be burnt. I'm strong in the Lord, and no. Good night, everybody. I am Pastor Brent Jason Sensha, Youth Director for the SVG Mission of Seventh-day Adventists. And tonight, I just want to highlight some of what the Youth Department is doing in SVG. In 2002, a grand initiative started from the East Caribbean Conference, dubbed We Can. It was a concert bringing in our top Adventist singers to help make a difference in our society. For the past 18 years, this year being 19, the SVG mission has not given up on this great 
charitable initiative. That initiative called Weekend is now a staple in the youth department's calendar of events. Over the past 18 years, we have changed our society by donating to those who are less fortunate while lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, I want to share with you just some of the things that we've been doing over the past 18 years, and our last one being in December, about what Weekend has been doing in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Over the past few years, we have given stuff to the Liberty um, Lodge Boys Home. We have given to the Lewis Panet um, Old Folks Home. We have given to different charitable organizations across St. Vincent and the Greenings. But more importantly, we have gone to, home, to house to house, helping those who are less fortunate. Just this year, uh, we are in the process of delivering. And as you look through the pictures, you will see that we have already packaged boxes and so on that are going to families who are in need, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic, where folks are struggling and grappling with the realities of economic crisis. We are helping out. We are reaching out because we recognize that we are the youth of the world. Yes, we still bring some of the best singers across St. Vincent and the Grenadines, talented, lifting up the name of Jesus over the years. But what we can stands for is not just the, the non can, it is about the verb can. You see, we, we ask everybody to bring cans and non perishable items. That's why we call it the we can. Can meaning a can food. But we've changed it over the years to be can the verb. We can make a difference. We can help those who are less fortunate. We can brighten the smile of a child. We can help pay for some child's tuition. This is what we can is all about. I ask you all across the Caribbean Union and across the world to adopt this we can initiative um, by the youth department of the SVG Mission of Seventh-day Adventists. Let us help change our world. In this day and age, Sister White says it nicely. In, message, in, in Ministry of Healing, sorry, she says that Christ's method alone will grant us true success. And part of Jesus' method was to minister to the needs of those who were less fortunate. After he ministered to the needs, he won their confidence and said, follow me. We can make a difference. This is St. Vincent and the Grenadines' mission of Seventh-day Adventist Youth Department reminding you that yes, we can make a difference. Oh, we are the Barbados Golf Club here in Durance and uh, right now we are having a golf tournament for the special needs golfers and every year we do it. Uh, we do it to help them, you know, sharpen their skills and chipping and putting and driving um, for the 2023 tournament, uh, special needs tournament in Berlin. We are also having another tournament as well for the regular golfers. The funds that we gather from that tournament we want to, to then donate to the Welch Mahal SDA Church. The young people there, they have started a project with the Chalner School where they have painted a roundabout at the school. They are also making swings and other decorations for the school. So the funds then will be handed over you know, to, to the Welch Mahal Church and where their young people and community services you know, and others would, would build the swings, you know, build the swings, um, build the slides, decorate the, um, the roundabouts, you know, to make that school, you know, a school that can be enhanced. So it's a wonderful thing that we do, we do every year uh, to give back, to enhance the image of the church, but also to help persons with uh, special needs. You know, I so say thanks to this media team, you know, for enhancing our, our reach. And, um, you know, we're, we're just delighted to every year to be doing, doing something like this to our community and to persons also with special needs. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I know for sure that you are enjoying every ounce of praise rendered so far. I can see you. Okay. I can see you. <laughs> God has truly been good to us. I know it's a bit late, but if you have not joined us, you are tuned in to the Good News Impact Campaign with a special, special program happening now entitled Caribbean Praise. And this campaign is sponsored by the Seventh-day Adventist Church from around the Caribbean Union. 57 territories, 628 different churches. So we want you to register with us for the series that has already started but you're not too late, all right? You can find that registration link on your viewing platform. You will also find there a prayer link on which you can click and submit your prayer request. All right, so handing over to you, Kay, tell us what's coming up next. 
Oh, Jillian, blessings, more blessings. Sister Tia Corbing will continue lifting the praises up in music. Then we, then we will hear about another segment of the fruit of the spirit, after which Sister Rinelle Harry Narang will minister to us in song. There's a list a mile long of all my sins Of everything that I've done wrong I'm so ashamed There's nowhere left for me to hide This is the day That I must answer for my life My faith is in the day his hands but then he turns to me and says I know you and I love you I gave my life to save Comprehend what kind of grace would take the place for all my sins. I stand in awe now that I have been set free, and the tears well as I look at that cross, cause it should have been me. Of the spirit is love. 
Galatians 5.22. Let us pray. Dear God, please be with us in this short devotional. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The book of Galatians has been labeled one of Paul's most important epistles. In it, Paul makes a strong case for the vital doctrine of justification by faith alone. It is here that he tries to differentiate between the gospel which saves us as opposed to our works which are fruit of the gospel and the evidence of our salvation. It is a subtle form of legalism, the belief that works of the law are needed for our salvation, which Paul tries to correct in this letter. And so having expounded on this theme in the chapters leading up to our study today, Paul concludes in chapter 5 that the gospel has liberated us, in essence, has set us free. The obvious question is, free from what? The freedom Paul talks about here is freedom from the guilt and condemnation of the law, freedom from legalism, and that is using the law or good works as a method of salvation, and freedom from the power and slavery to sin. This idea of freedom, however, creates another challenge in that it can be taken to the other extreme. It is the danger of licentiousness, which is freedom to do as you please, since you are not under the law or not saved by the law, but by grace. This is a serious problem because human nature is bent towards evil and is always at war with the Christian life. Paul tries to deal with this by pointing out to the Galatians that the life of the Christian is one in which the spirit reigns and the flesh is subdued. As such, we read in Galatians 5.16, where Paul says, I say that walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Thus, the way to overcome and to live a Christian life is to be led by the spirit, to have Christ reign supreme in the life. Furthermore, Paul continues to show that a life, how the life of one who is led by the flesh contrasts with one who is led by the spirit. He sums up the works of the flesh, namely adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, all bursts of wrath, selfish ambition, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5, 20 and 21. It's clear that these practices do not represent the life of one who is a citizen of the kingdom of God. However, these are the natural inclinations and actions of man. It is therefore imperative that one is totally surrendered to the indwelling Holy Spirit who leads to the changed life. Paul continues by painting a contrast between the life led by one's natural desires and the life led by the Spirit of God. He does this by juxtaposing the works of the flesh against the fruit of the Spirit and by using the little word with a big meaning, but, B-U-T. This word, but, is possibly one of the most important words in the Bible. It can make the difference between life and death. Consider its use in passages such as Romans 6, 23. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ our Lord. Or Galatians 1, 15, where Paul says, But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me through his graces. In his typical Pauline fashion, the apostle again employs this word, but as he compares and contrasts the life by the flesh with the life by the spirit. The word but cancels and makes of lesser importance what went before. And as Paul's primary focus is not on the life of the one whose actions are dominated by the flesh, but on the characteristics of the one who is led by the spirit. This is against this background that Paul says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. 
It's important to know that just as there's a marked difference between the works of the flesh and the gift of the spirit, there's also a difference between the fruit of the spirit and spiritual gifts. While, among other things, the spiritual gifts may vary from believer to believer, each spirit-filled and spirit-led Christian, though, on the other hand, will exhibit the fruit of the spirit. It's for all believers. And thus, Paul says, the fruit of the spirit is love. One could question why love is the component of the fruit mentioned first. This is because love is the foundational element that undergirds all our actions. It is from this virtue that all others spring. As such, we read in Deuteronomy 6, verse 5, the admonition which calls upon us to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our strength. The Decalogue is also built on the premise of love to God and love to our fellow men. Jesus also confirmed this when asked which law was the greatest, and he responded with, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. The love that is mentioned here is more than the love of a man for a woman, or the love among siblings. It's even more than the love of a mother for a child. The love that Paul is talking about here is the same he mentioned in 1 Corinthians 13, the godly love. It is the love of which Paul states, love suffers long, is patient, and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. does not behave rudely. does not seek its own. It's not provoked. Thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. He ends by saying, love never fails. When we note the similarities between the list in 1 Corinthians 13 and the one in Galatians 5, it becomes clear that love, agape love, is the foundation of the Christian life. This is what a spirit-filled life looks like. This is what we can be when we are justified and sanctified. May we all therefore revel in the knowledge that we are saved by grace through faith and therefore liberated from the dominion of sin over lives, whereby we can live the victorious Christian life. The life where the Holy Spirit reigns supreme and our actions are prompted by love. May God bless us richly. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that through your indwelling Holy Spirit, they may exhibit the fruit of the Spirit, beginning with love, the foundation of all the rest. We thank you, Lord, that you want to live in us, and that through your power, we will be able to also show the goodness and the kindness and the love that you have given us and shown us. Thank you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Oh, Jillian, this was just wonderful. Our hearts yes, are filled right up with praise. It was truly a blessing to spend the last few hours in worship to God. It is my prayer that you, our viewers, were similarly blessed. Our program mm -hmm. under the sub-theme, Love, made reference to the goodness of our God and his wonderful works toward us. It was all expressed in the acts of praise presented by our wide range of Seventh-day Adventists from all across the Caribbean. We leave you now with this thought. The fruit of the Spirit affects our relationship with God, others, and the self. As we mm -hmm. grow in our relationship with the Lord, we develop unselfish love, true yes. joy, and lasting peace. Amen. Amen. Now we want to thank you for journeying with us in this program. And we look forward to meeting you once again. Bye-bye.